Hey everybody, my name is Phil. I'm Erica. And today we're watching Abbott Elementary, Season 2, Episode 4. Let's dive in. Ryan. There she goes again. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you, Ryan? How old? These kids are good. Are you? Okay, now does anybody remember what was in this container before? Ice. Aaron, go for it. Ice burr. I will accept <laughs> ice burr. burr. Now, there was an ice cube in this container before, right? Mom! A massive ice cube. Michael, why are you yelling in my class? Is your mom here right now? <laughs> I love bingo! This isn't the first time Micah has disrupted <laughs> my class. From what I understand, he's obsessed with the TV show about Australian dogs. Blueish. Or... <laughs> Blue Blue it doesn't matter. What matters is I've tried everything to keep him in line and nothing works. It's gotten to the point where even his classmates are annoyed. And then uh, Tariq said, let's get ready to rumbly. <laughs> Still together? My tummy was rumbly. It was funny. <laughs> Wait, who she oh say? God, Tariq. Pork rinds. Are they back together? I know. I've been talking about my ex too much. Oh. Uh, no, not that. I mean, yeah, you do. What? But this She's putting peanut ooh, butter in her ramen? You took a cooking class in prison. <laughs> you know, I can stretch a budget like a big headed baby stretches a... It's not about money. My mom never taught my sister or I how to cook. So everybody just got a sister now. Tariq used to do the cooking. <laughs> he used to say, call me Chef Tariq, Tariq <laughs> you cook it, stink, stink. You know no one's making you tell me stories, right? I know. Okay, listen, mm -hmm. I can teach you how to make a cheap, non-embarrassing meal. I mm. it might take you five days to finish it, but it'll be delicious, so it won't skeep you till the third day. Really? You just come to my place tonight. What time? I mean, <laughs> I need you to help me with my wine pairings. Zach, he gets embarrassed when I ask the clerk for the, quote, second least expensive bottle. I have this kid, Micah, and can't stop him from disrupting my class. It's like he can sense whenever I feel like I'm getting a handle on something, and he just swoops in like a cute little falcon and rips me apart. Like last week, every time Aaliyah would give a correct answer, she would say, I'm on your ass, Mr. C. <laughs> oh, yeah. of love. But when she said it, <laughs> Oh yeah, Mr. C is your corny. An untenable situation. So I sent her to the principal's office. To Ava? Mm. Don't nobody care about that earthquake. Turn it back or there'll be another <laughs> national emergency. And that was helpful. Yeah, look, it made me feel like the mayor of white guilt Sylvania, but uh, <laughs> it did help. Look, I can't have one student ruining the lesson for everyone. Hey. Go away. <laughs> And hello to you too, Melissa. <laughs> the ops. How come you got a shallot? A what now? A shallot. I said get an onion. Oh, Janine thought it was an onion that was adorable and small like her. And who am I to shatter that illusion? <laughs> Does it really matter? Does it matter? <laughs> of course it matters. So do I have to be that specific Ridden? about ingredients? I mean, yeah. I wonder if I can switch it up. I hear cooking's like jazz. <laughs> No, Dizzy Gillespie. It's not like that. You've got to be She's specific. so mad. My sister, Krista Marie, used the wrong ingredient, making our Nana's signature dish, and brought that dish to her wake. I haven't spoken to her since. So, does your sister... <laughs> You're not getting the hint. Go ahead, finish. <laughs> anyway, my sister and I aren't that close either. I mean, literally, she moved to Colorado because she just couldn't take my mom. Sorry. Garlic, you know, makes you, makes you cry. Yeah, garlic doesn't do that. <laughs> hey, Melissa, I was just thinking <laughs> about last night when you said you don't want to do this. Well, you can stop thinking about it. I bet you miss her though, right? Oh, what, what is she going to do? What am I going to do? Apologize to She's myself? Here, I'm sure. Uh, maybe, maybe there was a reason for the substitution. You know, there's always two sides to every story. And one of those is the right side. Krista Marie would have to come to me, and she's never going to do that. So let's stop talking about it, okay? Maybe Krista Marie wouldn't, but Janine Marie would. What? What are you up to? Wait, your middle name is Marie? No, it is not. My mom forgot to give me one. I may or may not be hatching a little plan to reunite Melissa and her sister. 
is going to drive it's too much. Crazy. I know. Too, too much, like, right? You know, rain is an example of water. Overstepping. It's but Louie is from down. <laughs> He's wearing <laughs> sweater. You classmates, you're going to leave me with no other choice but to send you to the principal's office. Mm. Now, we already know that. <laughs> they don't want Louie together. Solid, but water is a. Have you ever been down under? <laughs> down under. I didn't want to have to do this, but you're leaving me with no choice. Gather your things. You're going to see Principal Coleman. What's up? I need to take this one to the principal's office. Can you watch my class for a second? The principal's office? Do you think that's a little harsh for a kid that young? I mean, I've never had to even take any of my kids to Ava. <laughs> Can you help me or not? Well, I just think maybe there might be some other options. You two in a fight. Looks like y'all in a fight. I'll be right back. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Come on, Michael. What do you say? Looks like you guys are in a fight. Oh. Here I am returning Micah after a short yet respectable amount of time in my office. So, Micah, do you have anything you want to say to the class? Not really. What do you want him to say? I want him to apologize for disrupting the class and tell us it'll never happen again. Of course it's going to happen again. You want him to lie to your face? What does Axolotl do on vacation? Relax a lot. I know that's right. <laughs> hey, why does he get a toy? I want to get sent to the principal's oh, office, no. too. No, okay, no, we're not. I don't want to interrupt that your spaghetti's getting cold. What about spaghetti? You want to eat it hot. Janine, stop interrupting. You and Jacob did a good job yesterday. In 30 seconds, everyone's going to tell you so. Just let the man finish his story. Mm -hmm. She said I did a good job. The point is, <laughs> I'm a baby. She didn't do anything to discipline <laughs> Micah at all. Sending a kid to Ava just helps get him out of the room so that you can regain control of the rest of the class. But it doesn't fix the problem. And rewarding bad behavior is the opposite of what a principal should do, right? Oh, wait. Repeat what you just said, because for a second it sounded like you expect Ava to do her job. What y'all doing in here? Never mind. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> when I was a kid, if I did anything childlike, yell, run around, just generally have a zest for life, I would be put Generally on time have out, a and zest. I would have to reckon with the fact that I had committed a failure of character. And Aww. that is how I became a well adjusted man that stands before you today. Really? I think the main person of this episode now. He's going to the office? Mm. Turn around. Turn around. <laughs> Turn around. <laughs> right now, enough of that. We do not. Is it going up the line? <laughs> Oh, jeez. It is. Don't make that face. <laughs> how are you going around complaining about my principal? And now, I've made it a point not to harass you these past few weeks, and this is how you repay me? Ava, you do these kids a disservice by not being the strong authority figure that they need. Are there students in the room? You're supposed to be scared to go to the principal's office. Can I go? <laughs> Have you not embarrassed me enough? Now, how do you think it feels for a six or seven-year-old to make that walk of shame? Mm. By the time they get to my office, they got snot running down their face and shaking like a chihuahua and what? I'm supposed to punish them? And then what? Now I got to tune out some sobbing child while I'm trying to watch Below Deck? <laughs> if you don't agree with my approach, you need to get Micah under control on your own. Hmm. I'm sending Mr. Eddie back to his class. Let's all hope he's learned his lesson. <laughs> Whoa. Nice game. Interesting. This is a two. Oh, Kristen Marie. Do I know you, Bilbo Baggins? Where's Melissa? Jeez. Oh, that woman. Let me catch you up. I made the sacred unit to Yogi. Dropped it off at her school with a note implying it's from Melissa, and now reunited, and it feels so good. What the hell are you doing in my house, you potso lunatic? You know, you know exactly what I'm doing here. You show up at my place of employ, trying to mock place me. Place of employ. The store was out of russets. Oh, yeah, right? yeah. Enough of that. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, can you really tell the difference? Because, uh, you're clearly, For maybe. Oh, fair you're, enough. You're letting cameras in your house, forgetting you dropped off food. You know, I thought about giving this crap to my dog, but I love my dog. <laughs> I couldn't make food that disgusting if I tried. That too. Yeah, if you didn't do it, then how else did this gnocchi shaped Play Doh end up in my classroom Jeez. with a note oh. that said, For my sister? Oh. Mm. Everybody mm. out. Get out. Wow. Not even an apology for trying to snuff out your own sister. Real nice, Shimenti. 
Hang on, wait, let me just, let me just say one thing to you before you go, okay? <laughs> That's gonna be bad. Your roots are growing in. <laughs> Since Ava refuses to do another one of the integral functions of her job, I have to take <laughs> another <her>. one. <laughs> I plan to exceed expectations, of which there are none, because this isn't my job. That's enough. Deeper. <clears throat> that is enough. Working here at Abbott as a young black man, you are in a unique position. Mm -hmm. You are also at a crossroads. Now, I am not saying that discipline does not have its place, but your students can either fear you or they can respect you. Mm -hmm. Can't have both. It's possible I'd forgotten what all that discipline made me feel like as a kid. I'm starting to think that maybe I didn't grow into the man I'm proud of because of it. Maybe I did in spite of it. I'm, I'm sorry. I was just trying to fix your relationship with your sister, not recreate an episode of The Goodness. Sopranos. Is that offensive? I haven't seen it. I <laughs> <laughs> when I invited you over to the house. Wow. I brought this on myself. Wow. I don't want to undercut my apology by over-explaining my behavior. Sure you don't. What is it, Janine? <laughs> I have been missing my sister a lot lately. Mm. And I can't imagine having her down the street and not speaking to her over a potato substitution. Why don't you and me make some time to do another cooking lesson, right? So you don't hurt someone. <laughs> okay. Oh, and no, Jacob. He's not invited. What? Well, I'm not invited? Now, our ice cube melted <laughs> and then turned into water. But we left that water in the sun and then it evaporated. Now, does anyone know? He's going to incorporate Bluey. <laughs> Bluey, you're so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but she said that she knows what state the evaporated water is in. Does anyone else? Uh, okay, Micah, come on up. Now you know he don't know. <laughs> now is the water a solid, a liquid, or a gas? Bingo. Eh, wrong. Not quite, buddy, but... That's okay. Thank you for trying. Mr. Eddie, mm. you didn't send anyone to my office today. Oh, I feel like I got the situation under control. Well, you know, you don't need a misbehaving student to stop by my office. You could always just come say hi. You don't have to be high to do that. Whoop. Come on. Oh, oh. uh-uh. I don't like this little duo at all. <laughs> oh, Ava, I forgot to drop off that discipline report to you. You are no longer speaking to work, Ava. You could drop it off at her desk or speak to her tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. How dare you? <laughs> What up, Pop? Yeah, of, of course. Of course. I'm sorry, Lieutenant Colonel Fathers. <clears throat> mm -hmm. This one's very special. This is me on Kristen Marie's wedding day. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice wow. To get along. Hmm. <laughs> it's too many frames. I know, right? <laughs> Dang. Kind of topical. <sighs> you think so? <laughs> I was like, I'm never going to bring that up when we're recording. Well, that's funny. Um, what do you think of this episode? It was good. It was nice to see a bit more of Gregory. Mm hmm. Yeah. He's definitely changed a lot, even since just like the first, like, yeah. Three, four episodes. Once becoming permanent, it was like he kind of oh, yeah. used a bit more. Flipped a switch, for sure. Yeah. But, um, yeah. yeah. It's good. It's good. I mean, like, yeah, like you said, kind of topical right now, because... Because we, we are parents a of toddler. <laughs> of a toddler, so... And, uh, yeah, definitely challenging. Mm hmm And, uh, yeah, but... Yeah, his approach ended up being really good. It was cute. Yeah. No, no. It was, it was cute. I, I think you definitely need more than that to <laughs> to get him engaged in the lesson. But, I, like, I, obviously you can't illustrate everything. I think it was just nice that there was effort there. And he tried a different approach other than mm -hmm. what may or may not have worked for him mm -hmm. with his dad. Mm -hmm. So. And that was nice. good. Even Ava. Like... I, Everything she said, I was like, oh, she, she got some good points. She's... Uh, competence too strong. <laughs> <laughs> it's too strong. She has some good points. Sometimes. Yeah, no, 100%. Like, insightful, and yeah, you can't be using the principle as a crutch. 
mm -hmm. every time. So yeah, that was good. No, yeah, for sure. I like the little conversation that um, uh, older teacher, what's her name? Is it Barbara? Barbara um, had with, with Gregory uh, about just kind of like the position that he's in as like a black teacher, a yeah. black male teacher, mm -hmm. and like yeah. what that could mean to a young student. Mm -hmm. uh, I like that that was added. Yeah, it's not just you. that you're an authoritative figure, it's that you know you're an example yeah exactly and i think that's that's important to highlight just mm -hmm. in terms of yeah in terms of representation in terms of like you know role models for like inner city uh, yeah yeah for like especially in in that case but in in general i mean yeah, i think in, in schools like having having that exposure to someone for that long you are influenced by them mm -hmm. like whether or not you you know, you want that to be the case. If you have that much exposure to someone, you're gonna have some sort of influence. So I think it, sure. it, it's great that she highlighted that, not just as an educator, but like, I don't know. There, there's something more than just education to everyone here because of the situation that they're in, in terms of being in, in the city, in the public school that's not funded well. Um, they are very aware of the situation that they face. And it's like an ever-present part of, you know, what they do. And I think it's it's cool because they approach it in a really lighthearted way. But it's like, it's real issues. And I think that's mm -hmm. kind of why people love this so much. Especially teachers and educators. They love it so much because like it's it's so real. And it's probably pressures that they face all the time. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And even like that part about... Uh, well, yeah, just like still on Gregory and um, him... I'm sure being impacted by what Barbara said. Mm -hmm. um, oh my gosh, brain fart. <laughs> um, just that, oh yeah, uh, just like him reflecting on how he was raised by his dad. Yeah. And just like being very aware of the example that he wants to set for his students and going, stepping away from kind of the like authoritative um, or authoritarian mm -hmm. um, approach. I think that was cool how they illustrated that. Yeah, just finding your own way. Because at the very end, it was kind of like the show brought back that reminder of like, oh, this is how he was raised. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, just to like, um, yeah, be reminded. It's very strict and. Yeah. 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 That was good. Yeah, it was a really good one. Janine. Janine, man. She's good. She's really good annoying, like, low-key. I know. Like, I just... Like, like she's shake funny. Shake my head. But, like, just get out of people's business. Let them... I know. Let them do what they gotta do. She's doing too much. <laughs> she's doing too much. Like, she wants to be a helper, I guess. But it's like... It's too man, much. You know what? Just let people do their thing. Mm-hmm. It's cute, <laughs> though, about uh, the cooking thing and... Have yeah. We, have you met her sister? I don't think I can't so. Remember. No, I don't think so. Hmm. Okay. And like, uh, what's this? Like, her ex. She keeps bringing mm. him up. She always misses him, or maybe she's just lonely. Yeah. But yeah, interesting. Let's see what happens there. But um, yeah, season two is off to a good start so far. Um, I think all the episodes have been pretty funny. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Cool. Well, hope you enjoyed that one. We'll see you for the next one. Peace.